Hey, you see me, you see me. What's good? It's Tiki. What's happening? So, today this battle, this battle right here, is going to be put actually on my backup channel, which used to be my main channel. Uh, but it's all good, it's all good. So, um, you know, subscribe, both channels, this one and uh, Toxic Tiki, you already know. But in the meantime, in between time, this was a random battle that someone just challenged me to, and this kid brings all legendaries. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that, I'm not gonna let that make me scared. All right? You see my full team of darks. You see their full team of legends. Let's just dive right in and see what happens. Let, let's just go for it. Uh, before I do that, feel free to hit that like button, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. But again, let's see what happens. All right. So trainer Lori sends out Natsu, <clears throat> Natsu the Rayquaza, and I send out my live part. Okay, okay, so of course I go for this fake out, because I'm going to do anything in my power to win. I, I don't, I'm <laughs> not saying I can, not saying I can't, but it's not impossible. So of course I go for the fake out, and then the prankster ability lets me go ahead and hit off this thunder wave, so that's cool, that's cool, that's good. He hits me with the flame. She hits me with the flame door. Doesn't do that much. I'm hoping for the best. And I get the paralyzed hacks, so that makes me excited because I can still I can do work with this. I really can. I really can. If I knew the switch was coming, I would have went ahead and went for a home calls, but I didn't. I didn't think nothing of it. But another night slash on a psychic type, super effective. Knocks it out. One hit KO. I'm up right now. Six five. That's cool, that's cool. She, she, she sent it out Death Potter. It's not a problem, so now she sends out Hades to go ahead and try and mess with me. And it's still, it ain't doing nothing because I get this crit. I get this crit, I'm feeling comfortable. Until Lightheart faints, but that's no big deal. It happens. I, I saw it coming, I saw it coming. Not the most bulky of mine. So I send out my Absol. Of course, that pressure, so you know. <laughs> Are you really gonna be attacking me? Do you have it in your head? Are you, are you feeling tough today? You feeling tough today? Come on, Absol. Go ahead, show them why you got that pressure. So of course I mega evolve and go ahead, go for the sucker punch. Stab, sucker punch. Maybe it'll be enough, and it is. It's just enough to kill. It's just enough to kill. That puts a big old grin on my face, like ah, uh, like uh, just puts a big old grin on my face. And here we go, primal grout, primal grout on coming. Hey. So much power, so much power, too much power to be honest with you. That's too much power on the field right now. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna let it, I'm not gonna let it phase me. I'm really not, I'm really not. So I'm gonna go ahead, go for another sucker punch. Cause I know he's gonna try and get me out real quick. And there goes one of the signature moves you growled on in this gen. And it O-Co's me, one hit KO. It's all good though, it's all good though. I can't be too mad, right? I mean, it's frail absolute. It's a frail absolute. There's a lot of power there, but it happens. So of course I send out Greninja because Greninja is my best bet. And me knowing that they're gonna swap out. <laughs> I, I was thinking off the top of my head that uh Primal Kyogre would be a thing. So I forgot. I forgot they both go primal on entry on entry, but it happens. It's okay. It is okay. Doesn't mean I need to worry yet. But I go for Skull because it's the safest thing to do. And at this point, I'm hoping for burns. Because even when me using it once, I'm like, maybe I can get a burn, get that residual damage off. That would be great. Doesn't happen. So it's like, okay, I'm going to just call it back, play it safe, send out my bonkiest special defense monster, Umbreon. So Umbreon comes in, just eats it up. You know, hungry, hungry, just eats it up. What's an origin pulse gonna do to an Umbreon? Nothing. But realistically, I didn't realize this yet, but this this Kyogre right here is definitely the biggest threat on the field. No matter what, this was probably the biggest threat on their team. Hands down. Hands down. It's what what, what right now it's like 5-4. And then they take out my bulky smile, <laughs> Umbreon. Oh, the agony, the tears, the agony, the sadness. So now I have to go ahead and send in Manda Buzz because you're going for Waterfall. So I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, you want to stick to physical attacks right now. This is my bulkiest physical attacker. 
but they don't it's okay to go ahead and switch out I'm not too worried at this exact moment I, I see the desolate land ability which means it's gonna be bright and sunny and sunny and bright there's all types of problems for me but I go ahead and get this toxic out make sure to get some sort of residual damage off on somebody off on somebody but man the buzz I'm feeling like it might not be I might not have too much I can do with it yet plus it's very valuable so I went ahead and switched out in the Oakley and tragically I get the burn now Oakley the Flygon is an all all out physical attacker speed and physical so that burn was crucial that burn was crucial I was hoping right now to just get flinches to be honest with you so I can let the so I can let the toxic damage just just do its thing but then they go for a ground attack and me having a levitated ability it, it ain't gonna matter it's not gonna affect me I don't know why they even did it I really don't know why they even did it so like I said since I'm locked in the crunch cuz I'm choice scarf I was hoping that the toxic damage would be enough if it got if it got the flinch right there it would have been it really would have been but they of course run rest on their crowd on like who does that why why would you do something like that so I'm thinking Oakley's gonna have to be death father death father look at me I can't even speak right now I was so I was so shocked that it had rest I couldn't even speak so I go ahead pull him back send out Greninja with the protein ability I go for ice beam because at this point in time I'm thinking I'm thinking desolate sun means no water attacks and then right when I realized that I don't know why but my first initial thought was okay let me go for skull that doesn't make any sense so I don't know why I did it and I just let Greninja fall it was I was a tragic turn of events but it's okay it had to happen it had to happen it had to happen so I send Mandibuzz right back out to go ahead and try and take out this ground on. Hopefully it would be enough. Hopefully it would be enough. That first foul play couldn't get the job done. The second foul play right here. Is it enough? Is it enough? Yes, it's just enough. I might have got min max roll. I might have got max roll on that one. Which is nice. That's nice to see. That's nice to see. Nice to see. Uh, along with that. This leftovers recovery is always nice to gain. And they send out Ray the Lugia. So right now I believe it's either three. Or I have two mon left. I either have three or two. Three or two. Go ahead, put in the comments right now. Let me know what the tally is. I believe I have two. Possibly. So I'm thinking Lugia when the bulky is in the game. I have to try to stall this one out. I forgot. I forgot the typing advantage that I have right here. But it's okay because it's going for it's going for serves, so it's not doing that much damage. And of course, I go for the toxic because to me that was the best play I had in mind. Even though I could have killed this thing by now, it could already been done. Great could have already been done. Could have been well taken care of. Could have been well taken care of. But instead, I call Buzz feedback because I'm not thinking. And I send Oakley out. I send Oakley out. Go ahead, be death fodder. So I can at least see what's about to happen. And that arrow, arrow blast took me out. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Nothing. Nothing too special. Nothing too special. But Buzzfeed comes back out. <laughs> and at this point, it's over here using fly. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking to myself. I'm gonna go ahead and roost up. Cause I knew I was gonna take damage. I didn't expect the fly. To be honest with you, did not expect no type of fly. But me getting my HP back is always good and me being so bulky a fly is not going to do nothing especially with the Titan and again that foul play could have been killed it I don't even think the crit mattered to be honest with you I really don't I really don't I really don't think it mattered I mean it probably could have probably didn't but it's okay they sent back out Koga their primal Primal, 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 what's this mine called? Primal Kyogre, Primal Kyogre. Kyogre, Koga, Koga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should I should I should have got that off the top of my head. It's all good though. Of course the rain automatically sets back up. But there's not much not much I can do is looking real bleak. I'm just hoping for toxic damage to do its thing. A toxic 
the Kyogre. It hits me with an Origin Pulse. Me not being specially defensive, it did way too much. It was overkill. Didn't matter. Boosted up in the rain. It, I, I had to take this L. I tried. I gave it a good shot. Killed. Uh, I took out a lot of them on, but it's all good, though. Well, as you see, I take it L. It's all right. I'm not mad about it. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, check out check out my main channel. Check out my main channel, Toxic Tiki. The link's always going to be in the description. If not, just go to my Twitter and click it there. In the meantime, between time, I'll see y'all later.